after walking away from the bowling scene, it was like I just it was like part of my life that I never even like spoke of for a while. And a lot of people were never aware that that was like 25 years of my life, and it's decade up at a pretty high level. And slowly, it's um, mingling what I'm doing now with that done. I'm going to start off with uh, this poem, Mapless. The car with baby stuff in front of me was waiting at the intersection with a yield traffic sign, and no one was driving down the street. Watching the young mother, I remember driving home from the hospital with my son and wife for the first time. The car couldn't go any faster than 25 miles an hour. When I tried to get on the freeway, the car steered itself down side streets all the way home. This little 10-pound creature was in my car, in my house, but bigger than a universe of uncertainty that was staring up at me. As I drove off, I thought of how few maps there are for being a parent or a baby, for that matter, and all the roads that didn't exist then that do now, and how many new homes have been built. Soon enough, my son and daughter will graduate and need one, and time passed so quickly, I wasn't really scared driving home with her, but it was pretty neat to see my son hold his sister in his arms when she was eight hours old, and I'm taking a picture of it. There's no fear caught in the picture, but it was constantly high in the map I really needed, and then I would get that gut tightening feeling combined with a, how did this all happen to them, to me, without a map. Who has time to read maps anyway? I mean, I'm trying to get from point A to point 33 and can't even remember where the damn map is, which would be pointless because fear would hide the flipping thing, and by then, I would be in a new neighborhood that hasn't even been visited by a cartographer, so there aren't any maps for where I am anyhow. <laughs>